Hi guys, thanks for joining me in my newest video. In this video, we are going to be solving for a variable in literal equations. You might be wondering, what are literal equations? Those are equations with very few numbers and mostly letters or variables, or all of them uh, letters and variables. There might not even be any numbers. So if you would like help with that, or you would like to practice with me, please stay tuned because I'm gonna make it easy for you. Question one, solve for y. So what does this mean? This means that I want the y alone. I want to isolate the y. So what I like to do to remember is I like to circle the letter that they want me to solve for so that I remember which one that I want alone. What I mean by solve for y is that I want it to be y equals. So on the left side, just the y and nothing else. And then on the right side, everything else. And what I mean by side is on the side of the equal sign. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw my line on the equal sign. Okay, so this is my left side, this is my right side. I want to move everything that is on the left to the other side except for the y. All right, so what is with my circled letter? What is with my y? Negative five, do not move that first you will always move the other thing. This is positive 3x, the opposite is negative. So minus 3x, copy to the other side, minus 3x. So whenever you do an opposite, you copy to the other side. 3 minus 3 is 0, it cancels, do not write anything, no 0, no 0x. Zero copy down, negative 5y equals, here you are going to copy. Now you're asking, why do I copy? because they are not like terms. Here, there's no variable. Here, there is an X. They are different, different letters you're gonna copy. Okay, I want the Y alone. Just keep it circled so I remember. It's not alone. What do I have with the Y? I have a negative five. If there's no operation in the middle, it's multiplication. So I'm gonna do the opposite of the multiplication. The opposite is division. Division, what number? Negative five copy to the other side, and each part will get divided by negative five. Negative five divided by negative five cancels, it's one, cancel. Y equals, put in your calculator, 35 divided by negative five. 35 divided by negative five is going to be negative seven. Let's just double check that. Yep. And then negative 3 divided by negative 5, you can put that in the calculator. It's going to be positive 3 fifths x. And you can stop here, but if you want to switch it for slope intercept form, you can also do that. I'm going to go ahead and just do that because I'm used to it. Okay, so this is positive 3 fifths x and then minus 7. So as you can see, the y is alone like they asked. Question two, solve for x. ax minus bx equals c. I'm gonna go ahead and draw my line on the equal sign. Now I want the x alone. I'm gonna circle my x and uh-oh, I have two x's. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to factor out the x. So how do I do that? Here's what you do. You're gonna open your parentheses. What these two terms have in common, what they have the same, I'm going to put outside. What they have different, I'm going to put inside. Okay, what do they have the same? I have an X the same, so I'm going to put it outside. What do they have different? I have an A minus B and then copy equals C. So again, remember, I want the X alone. I'm going to circle the X. Is the x alone here on this side? No, it's not. I have an a minus b in parentheses. So what is parentheses? Parentheses is multiply. We're going to do the opposite of multiply. What's the opposite of multiply? Divide. Divide. What is with x? a minus b in parentheses. Now, I don't need to put the parentheses because now these are alone down on the bottom. Okay, so copy to the other side divided by A minus B. A minus B and A minus B, they cancel. A minus B divided by A minus B is one. Copy X equals, what is C divided by A minus B? I have no clue. Okay, so go ahead and just copy that. C divided by A 
minus b. So that is what x equals. Question three, solve for r. C equals two pi r. So again, I want the r alone. So go ahead and circle it. I'm gonna put my line on the equal sign. Now, the r is not alone. What is with the r? I have two and pi, okay? Two and pi with r. There's no operation in the middle. There's no plus or minus, multiply or divide, nothing. I don't see anything. So if you don't see anything, it's actually multiplication. This is two times pi times r. So we're gonna do the opposite of multiply. The opposite of multiply is divide. What is with r? Two pi, I can do them both together at the same time. Copy to the other side, divided by two pi. What is c divided by two pi? Again, no clue. So copy it, c divided by two pi equals two divided by two is one, it cancels. Pi divided by pi is one, it cancels. Copy down that r. One more thing, go ahead and switch because I need that letter alone in on the left side. So r equals copy c divided by two pi. And there's your answer. Question four. Solve for x. 2m minus nx equals x plus 4. So let's go ahead and draw our line on the equal sign. This is going to be a difficult one, so be ready for this one. So solve for x. That means I want x alone. I'm going to circle my x's. I have two x's. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and now it's up to you. Okay, it's up to you how you're going to do this. I want to, I choose to do it this way. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my plus four that is with the right side of the X, okay? Because there's just less stuff here. So I'm just gonna move as many things to the other side as possible. All right, so I have X plus four. The opposite of, of plus is minus, so minus four. I'm gonna go ahead and copy it to the other side. Now, this has no variable. This has an M and this has an NX. So I cannot combine these. I cannot combine this with any of these. So I'm just going to kind of copy it out in the front over here. So I'm just going to copy all of these together. Negative 4, this is positive 2M minus NX equals X. 4 minus 4 is 0. It cancels out. So again, I want the X alone. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is this X, I'm going to move it to the right side with this X over here. Okay, so this is minus NX. I'm going to do the opposite, which is plus NX. Copy to the other side, plus NX. All right, you're going to go ahead and copy down that negative 4, copy down that plus 2M. Negative NX plus NX is 0, it cancels equals copy x plus nx. All right, I still want my x alone. So my x's are here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor again. Do you remember the factoring? You're gonna open your parentheses. You're gonna put what they have the same outside, what they have different inside. Okay, what do they have the same? They have x, I'm gonna put that outside. Now here, what do they have different? I can't just put plus n. Okay, you can't just do that. So what is with the x if there's no number? It's actually one. So this is gonna be, what is different? One plus n. Okay, copy negative four plus two m. I want my x alone. It's not alone. What do I have? I have a parenthesis one plus n. This is multiply, the opposite of multiply is divide, so I'm gonna divide by this group, one plus n. Copy, divided by one plus n. This, you're just gonna copy that because there's nothing I can do here. Equals, these cancel out and you get x. Go ahead and switch them. x equals negative four, plus 2m divided by 1 plus n. That is the x solved. Now, I know what I did was different from before. Normally, I would move this. I would move all my x's to the left first, and you can do that, but it's just going to be 
a bit more complicated. So if you're really good at math, I mean, there's different ways to do this, okay? So you don't always have to stick to the rules if you don't want to. Question five, solve 4x. So for this one, again, I want x alone. So I'm gonna do my line, circle your x. Okay, so what is with the x? I have an x divided by a. Do not move this x or this a. You don't move what is close to that circled letter first. You're gonna move the other one. This is minus one, the, op the opposite of minus is plus. So plus one, when you do an opposite, copy to the other side. Copy down x divided by a, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, it cancels, equals y divided by b plus 1, you're just going to copy that. So you would do y divided by b and then put that plus 1 next to it. Okay, so again, I want the x alone. What is with the x? I have a divided by a. What's the opposite of divide? Multiply. So go ahead and open your parentheses. You always put what is down in the denominator in your parentheses there, so that would be a. Copy to the other side, so all of this times a. You need to put all of this in parentheses there. All of it is times a, not just one part. These cancel, a divided by a is one. Copy x equals, now what you're gonna do is the distributive property. So I have one, two parts, Parenthesis means multiply. I'm going to do first a times y divided by b. What is a times y divided by b? You're just going to stick that a up in the numerator. a y divided by b. Then you're going to do one, to one times a or a times one. What is one times a? Positive one a or just a. One a is a. And that's your final answer. There's nothing more that we can do here. Question six, solve for y. So I want the y alone. Put your line, circle that y. Now what is with the y? 2x. Do not move that first. Do not move what is with the letter first. We're going to move the other one. This is positive ax. The opposite is negative, so minus ax. Copy to the other side, minus ax. ax minus ax is zero. It cancels. Copy down. 2xy, circle that y, equals 14 minus ax, you're just going to copy. Okay, I want the y alone. What is with the y? I have 2x. Remember, no operation in the middle, it's multiplication. This is 2 times x times y. Okay, so what's the opposite of multiply? Divide. What is with the y? 2x. Put that down. Copy. All of this divided by 2x. Now, if you want to do it separately like I normally did, you could, okay? But we're just going to leave it here like that. So 2 divided by 2 cancels. x divided by x cancels. y equals. You're just going to copy that. So all of that divided by 2x. There is your final answer. Question 7. Solve for h. All right, so first I'm going to go ahead and do my line. Circle my H. Okay, so what is with the H? I have a third pi R squared. Okay, I'm going to save one third for the end. So save this fraction for the end. Let's go ahead and focus on our pi R squared. No operation in the middle. It's multiplication, right? So the opposite of multiplication is division. I'm going to move the V. I mean, sorry, the pi and the r squared. Copy to the other side, divided by pi r squared. V divided by pi r squared is the same. V divided by pi r squared equals, copy your one-third, pi, pi cancels, r squared, r squared cancels, h. Okay, I want the h alone. What is with the h? I have a fraction, one-third. This line is division. The opposite of division is multiplication. And to cancel this out, I need to write the reciprocal, which is the flip-flop of it. So three down now is three up. One up is now one down. Copy to the other side, parenthesis, three up divided by one down. Okay, so you're just gonna multiply straight across. That's how that works, okay? So three times V is three V divided by 
1 times pi r squared is just pi r squared. You don't really need to put that 1 in the front. Equals 1 third times 3 divided by 1 is 1. It cancels. Copy that H. And last thing we're going to do is go ahead and flip that so that letter is in the front. And there is your answer. Question 8. Solve for G. So I want the G alone. Go ahead and circle your G. I'm going to do my line on the equal sign. So I have two parts right now, okay? And let me explain that. My first part is this parenthesis group. These are together. It's a box. Can't open it yet. And I have H. That's my part two. So I'm not going to move the part with the G. I'm going to go ahead and move my H right now. Okay, so this is parenthesis. Parenthesis is multiply. The opposite is divide. So I'm going to divide by H and divide this part by H as well. So A divided by H is A divided by H equals the H's cancel. Go ahead and copy F plus G divided by 2. I don't need parenthesis. I can open that box. Why? Because they're alone on this side now. All right, so I want the G alone. Okay, if you have a big divide like this, you're going to have to do that first, okay? So this is a big divide. The opposite of divide is multiply. Multiply 2. Copy to the other side. Multiply by 2. So you're just going to stick that on the top there. So this is going to be 2A divided by H equals the 2's cancel. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Copy F plus G. I want the G alone. It's not alone. What is with the G? I got an F, positive. The opposite of positive is negative. So minus F, copy to the other side, minus F. So 2A divided by H minus F is the same thing. It's going to be 2A divided by H, and then put minus F next to it, equals F minus F is 0. It cancels. Copy down that G and flip. That's going to be G equals 2A divided by H minus F. There's your answer. Question 9. Our last question for this video. Solve for A. So I want the A alone. Go ahead and circle that. And I'm going to do my line. So again, I've got two groups here. My group with the parenthesis, which has the A, which is the X plus A, this is a box I cannot open yet, right? And then I have the 2. So I'm not going to move the part with the A. I'm going to move the other part. This is multiplication because it's parenthesis, so the opposite is division. So divided by 2. Copy to the other side, divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. It cancels. Copy down X plus A equals, and I'm going to circle the A, 4 divided by 2, I can simplify. 4 divided by 2 is 2B. Okay, I want the A alone. So what is with the A? I have an X positive. The opposite of positive is negative. So minus X, copy to the other side, minus X. X minus X is 0, it cancels. Copy down A equals 2B minus X. They're completely different, just copy 2B minus x, there is your final answer. Stay tuned for a part two of this video. I'm going to make them much more complicated, so I'm excited to share that with you. So please uh, subscribe, like the video, comment. Please make sure that you hit the notifications so that you will be notified for part two. You don't want to miss it. I'll see you again next time.